Hi guys, I'm Sarah. And I'm Christine from Glow Recipe. So today we have a big announcement for you. Actually, Sarah <laughs> got married just last month. She had a beautiful wedding in Hawaii. And a lot of you saw the photos on Instagram and have been asking us and Sarah about her bridal beauty tips. So I actually um, wasn't one of those crazy people that got like a facial every single day, but I did go a little bit um, experimental with some of my skincare products. I've tried new products that we were about to curate, which was actually a huge help to my skincare. We recently launched from Yuri Pibu a black tea and a lotus mask. So these masks are beautiful in texture. They kind of jiggle and bounce within the tub, um, but they're really great to mix and match, which is really the fun part about masking here. So Lotus and both black tea are good for antioxidants. This one has a lot of hydration benefits, and then black tea is great for brightening and nourishing at the same time. So when Sarah said earlier about mixing and matching, it wasn't just putting on the masks depending on where your skin yeah. type was oilier, because that's called multi-masking. That's called right? multi-masking. We've seen it a lot. It was actually mask cocktailing, which is a completely new concept from Korea. What she would do would be take a little bit of black tea and some lotus and literally mix. So if your skin was feeling a little bit more dry, what would you layer on before? In that case, I would just put on a lotus mask, leave on for 10 minutes, don't wash, and then put a blended mix of the black tea and lotus on top of my skin, leave on for 10 minutes, and then either wash off, or if it's the last step of the night routine, I would leave it on overnight. Then we have, from the same brand, Yuri Pibu, an artichoke power cream, which is a night cream, and it's pretty emollient in terms of consistency. It looks like a whipped milky cream. It's beautiful. It smells really fresh as it's well. really high concentration of artichoke extract, which is great for clarifying and then toning pores. This was really my go-to at the end of my night routine, either using it as an overnight treatment or just, I just applied a generous amount as my night cream. That's the artichoke cream. And then you have some new sheet masks that Sarah was the first to test on the team. It's really a new shape. I've never seen a sheet mask in this. It's actually a flower petal, <laughs> if you can see. And it's from this amazing brand that we love called Blossom Jeju. And you guys know Blossom Jeju has some beautiful essence serums or toners and now cleansing oils. But now they have a sheet mask and I wanted to make sure that I test it beforehand and also I just, you know, it was part of my sheet mask challenge. And what's great about this sheet mask is that it's in two steps. The first step, which is at the end of this flower petal, is the camellia oil. It's 100% organic, nothing else, it's just the camellia extract. And that's step one, and you can rip it apart like that. And then the second step is a sheet mask, which really helps lock in your camellia oil, which is packed with antioxidants all over your face. And what's great about this mask is that it's made with this microfiber that is very, very um, adhesive to the skin, but also it has these pores that help put the essence and keep it in there so that your skin is treated all throughout the 20 minutes. You know, I never forgot to exfoliate once or twice a week. This Dr. G Brightening Peel is recently my favorite product. I like to use it to make sure my dead skin cells are removed and I could see it and that's really satisfying. And then the splash mask. Oh. Yeah. So we just launched the splash mask in Sephora and this mask is just your 20 minute sheet mask ritual in a 30 second splash on liquid treatment. So in the morning or at night, Sarah would just splash it on in the shower, splash and pat, 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 pat and then your skin would be baby soft afterwards. And then Christine was actually holding on to these two products. So I had my purse with me all day to make sure that as a bridesmaid, I was doing my duty to make sure the bride looked her absolute best. I was Which amazing. she did, she was stunning. Thank and you for that. And the first is a mist. So being in Hawaii, it was pretty hot. Um, having this mist, which was super cooling on hand all day was really great. We used an entire bottle between the bridal yeah. party. We would just be spritzing on and on. It was so refreshing. Exactly. Also gave that perfect dewy, dewy glow yeah, on top did. of makeup. It did. 
And then whenever there was a bit of sweat or it felt like the makeup wasn't setting right, we would just mist this on, just kind of press very lightly with the beauty blender and just set the makeup so it looked perfect. And then there was a cushion compact. A cushion compact we kept on hand because since we're not gonna carry bottles of liquid foundation <laughs> on and apply them with our fingers, this was a perfect alternative to make sure that we could kind of quickly dab and fix her makeup and make sure it looked good for the photos. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed Sarah's special tips <laughs> on how to maximize your bridal skincare. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys. Get, Get your, your glow, glow on. Basically a liquid in-shower treatment that can transform your skin in literally 15 seconds.